<clears throat> Shane, how much are you looking forward to this one? Have, you know, going back home and I'm sure you had a lot of people there. Uh, yeah, and, uh, my whole family gonna be there, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, uh, especially uh, knowing I was committed to the University of Cincinnati uh, at an early age. And, uh, I'm just looking forward to playing with the players, and uh, especially uh, Yancey Gates. Uh, we got a little history together in uh, high school. Uh, so that's, that's basically it. I'm just looking forward to it. What's the history? Uh, well, I was a freshman, a uh, top recruit freshman and, uh, at the time, and uh, he was a, the, the lights the lights in Cincinnati at the time, his senior year of high school. And, uh, my high school players, high school was Aiken uh, versus Withrow High School. So uh, that was a big rival, rivalry every time we played each other. So, uh, I mean, me and him I was going head to head, and uh, I mean, I never beat him. So hopefully that would be for the change. How many times did you play against him? Not uh, too many. No, not too many. Probably like three or four times. How close were you to, to sticking with that since I haven't been? Uh, close because I. Uh, I mean, I really didn't know nothing at the time. Uh, I was just young, you know, just basically just going off me loving my city that much that, uh, that I felt like I wanted to stay there uh, throughout my basketball career. And uh, it just, I was just young. I really didn't know nothing. And as I grew and got more out and met a lot of new people, uh, I thought, I, I just felt that I learned a lot more. and. Uh, I just felt like I needed to open my recruitment back up a little more. And, uh, I mean, once I did that, I, I got a lot of more opportunities. Are you expecting to, to get booed or anything like that? Or is it, <laughs> you think it's that uh, it, it's, it's possible. And, uh, I, and then again, I, I, I expect to get a lot of uh, cheers, uh, especially just coming back home, playing, and, uh, not just for my family, but a lot of friends that I know is going to be there. Sometimes when guys go back home and change, they don't put so much pressure on themselves, they don't play well. I mean, how do you balance that? How do you handle that? Well, just continue to keep playing how I play. And, uh, I mean, just, like, yeah, play team ball and uh, just let the game come to me. Just go to my same. Try not to let the homecoming yeah. thing come in. Yeah, just play. Like, my grandmother told me the other night that uh, just keep playing your games. Like, she know that, I mean, I'm coming back home, uh, so she know that I have little butterflies or whatever, so. And that, I mean, half the people in my family that saw me play will be their first time seeing me play. I asked them in person. Uh, so she said, just, just play it, uh, keep my head up, and uh, she know I'll be good. When did you commit to that? Was it when you my were freshman year? And when did you change your mind? Uh, and I'm, uh, starting my junior year. How do you like it when you guys go small in the four guard? It either puts you out of the game or at center. Uh, it really doesn't matter to me because uh, I mean, I mean either way it goes. Uh, I think it's a good way because uh, if they go four guards uh, with me, I mean I, I feel that's a uh, a little bit of, of a fast group that we get out and run more. And, uh, uh, a player like me, I mean, I, I think I can outrun the uh, nine times out of ten, the, their center will be more big. So, I mean, I feel that I, I can just outrun them. And, uh, I mean, I think that's a that's a big plus with me. But without like before guard with Gorky, I mean, we still can get out of run. But I think, I mean, I really don't know, to be honest with you, with, with that with that line up. But I mean, either way it goes, would be good. Coach, we've done it before, and we got a lot of victories out of it. And, I mean, Coach knows what he's doing. And, I mean, whatever he, he said goes, and I'm, I'm right behind him 100%. What about Cincinnati's four guard line? What are they doing? Like? Uh, I mean, watching film on yesterday, I mean, they, they, their, their defense is tremendous by us. Yeah. And, I mean, they up in you and, uh, throughout the whole game, especially tomorrow, since they got the home crowd around them. So, like, I mean, we should. We really gonna feel a lot of pressure tomorrow, and coach man emphasizing the practice. Like we should play up. I mean, yesterday was a good practice. Everybody was just like 
up on each other, playing physical, how they're going to play. So, I mean, I think we should be ready for it. Uh, and Coach was just saying to us uh, that the couple times they played them throughout the years, uh, they beat us with toughness. And, uh, I mean, and, and that's one thing we know how to go in there and match uh, their toughness. Is this going to be like, or you think it's going to be like another grind, grinding game like Syracuse was? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, they match up pretty well with us. And uh, they got a lot of good guards, uh, lots of big men, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be another ground down to the last shot, I think. So. Shane, how do you last feel like this season's gone for you? And are you a different player now than you were back in October, and if so, in what ways? Uh, from the Bahamas trip, I think, yeah, I think I have grown a lot. Now knowing that, I mean, Coach Patino really didn't put into me uh, what he wants out of me because uh, the trip was just more of just to bond one another and just go down there and play and have fun. But now that the season has rolled on, uh, I think y'all did change as far as like just rebounding more and uh, uh, defense, but it's, it's not quite there how he wanted. But I think I, just, I see improvement there from the Bahamas. And, uh, and now that I think about it, he really didn't. He was he really wasn't on me uh, defensive wise. The Bahamas is now as much because obviously the Bahamas really encounters now. So I mean, I just some two years I think it'd be in shape to run over down the court. All right, thanks, Shane.